All right, what's going on, guys? So today we're gonna try to replace the speed sensor in my suburban. So as you can see, got the new sensor here. Just a dirt last one from AutoZone, just cheap. But um, it's pretty easy to take out, supposedly. Watch the watch the another video on it. But all it is is right here. You just put a 19 millimeter wrench right here, and it should come out of the transmission. So let's see. And you can start out by jacking it up. So whenever you're in a jack-up car, always make sure you put the parking brake on or chop the wheel or put chop locks on the back wheels of bricks or something so the car doesn't roll back. Alright, now my parking brake's on, let's go start jacking it up. Alright, so now we're gonna jack it up. So whenever you're jacking up a car, always like well when you're in a jack up car, always make sure you jack it up in the right place. Um, this is a chassis car, so as you can see, here's the chassis right here. So we'll just jack up the car on the chassis, but on unibody cars, a lot of the time the best place to jack up the car up is right by the lower control arms or where the subframe mounts are. So let's start jacking it up. So as you can see right here, start. just going to make sure you line it up. So I suggest that you be on the ground and do this so you can see where it's going. Alright, now let's start lifting So now that we have the car lifted, let's put it up on the jack stands. Alright, now just make sure it's a good distance so that's the way you like it. And then, where is the jack stand? Alright, so now that we're underneath the car, you guys can see uh, right there that little black thing. That's the um, speed sensor. So there's a little, like, it's hard to show this. There's a little wire clip on the back. You want to just get your finger right there. And just slip off the connector. And then we can start trying to remove it. So now you just take your 19 millimeter wrench. Slip it on. So hopefully see if we can get it off. And I'll let you, know, guys, let you guys know if we get it off. Alright, so I got the old sensor out. That's the old sensor and that's the new one. Let's put the new one in and see if the speedometer finally works. Alright, so we got the new sensor in. Let's tighten it up. I don't want to over tighten it because it's plastic. I don't want to strip the threads. So now that's tight. Let's grab the connector. And, uh, let's see if we can slide it back on. Alright, guys, so now we got the sensor back in, plugged in. So I got it sitting up on jack stands right now. Wheels are moving, which you can probably hear. See it. And nothing's registering on the speedometer, so something else is wrong with it apparently. New cluster, new speed sensor, so I'm gonna have to go through the wiring and see if it's. So I guess the only last thing is the wiring's gotta be pinched somewhere, so. Thank you guys for watching. 